folks, and welcome back to the Face Off All Star Season 11 vlogs. Uh, last week we were left with the cliffhanger of To Be Continued, mainly to see who gets eliminated at the beginning of this episode. Now, to recap, we have Logan and Adam on the bottom, we have T Gage and Rachel on the bottom, and then Keegan and Melissa on the bottom. They had one hour to redo their makeups with the judges' comments, what they had to fix, and they did it. And who was eliminated after all that? Unfortunately, Lee, Liz, Gage, and Rachel, mainly, I I thought theirs was okay when they did the one hour makeup. They still kept the cage, they took it off the chest, yes, but they put it on his head, and the hair is still a mess. But I feel sad that they left, but like uh, Glenn said, All Stars has so many different talented people and hopefully we'll be able to see Gage and Rachel and awesome things in the future. Now on to the challenge. This week, the Face Off All Stars had to actually make their own puppet or a marionette based off a type of, well, profession that, that was there for like a goldsmith, a tailor, a blacksmith, a few for a couple examples into their makeups and they had only two days to do this working on them and applying each one had a different design though who struggled ben and evan keep freaking struggling and i feel like yes they've done a couple good makeups but i feel like they're the one team that really doesn't work well together they can't even come up with, with idea when even when they do it's either bad or okay looking or still good so I feel like they're like the weakest team a little bit and everything was going fine during last looks when Sig and George had their concept was leather and they were gonna do super silly but once they were putting their silly pieces against their makeup they realized this does not look right he's more of a serious character let's eliminate half of our silly items and just go with what we have to do and they did so the one thing was sad, George fabricated this awesome giant cowboy type hat with these horns that look realistic and they didn't use that on the final makeup so what did he do with it? Sig decides to wear it into, uh, well, the, the set to the floor and I'm just like, I really hope he kept that. I really hope Sig kept that hat because it's so awesome. It's a giant goofy hat. I would want one. Maybe a small condensed version, but I would want one. <laughs> this time around, I realized from last week is, yeah, they were talking about all the makeups. The reason they are doing that is because the teams are condensing down. We're up to five teams this week. So we, they pretty much did a best and worst combined. So we got, there's five makeups. Let's talk about each one by starting with the best. Since we're talking about Sticker George, let's talk about their makeup. Their puppet is a leather puppet based off a, t I think I can't, a tanner? I can't remember the actual term, but it was a, a craftsman that used leather and they thought Western, so they made a, a leather puppet who was a clown and a bull fight. Like, you know those ra rodeo clowns? Basically a rodeo clown leather puppet. This one was super good. I, I, I can't admit, this is was a great job. I love the way they did the leather textures, the details. He was expressive. I just loved his little dopey face. I love the barrel. They actually did a good choice not putting the silly makeups on there because it would have been too silly. It would have been taken seriously. It was a good makeup and I love it. And I just love that Sig has the hat. I want that hat, Sig. I really do. Next up, Keegan and Melissa are in the top. Yeah, I'm surprised to see you. I feel happy. They got Blacksmith, where they decided to do a, inspired by a toy mechanical robot into their makeup as a puppet. And this looks amazing. It looks like a robot, but the features of it are a puppet. It's wonderful, it's creative, and it looks so cute. I just want a little robot toy that looks like that, just sitting on my desk. The final scene for best makeup is Emily and Tyler again. They got Taylor and they made the most gorgeous marionette doll and makeup I've ever seen. Their concept was they Taylor made this life-size marionette doll that would dance, made out of cloth, and if she was slowly falling apart, kind of coming out of seams and all that. She looks amazing. I am surprised at this makeup. It looks incredible, amazing, and Emily did a technique where she was able to flock the face 
on the, the makeup where, you know, for people who don't know the flocking, where it's like little fuzz on stuff. She did that to the face and made it up for last minute. She made a new technique that even the judges didn't know. Can I say Emily is a precious cinnamon bun that makes it all worth amazing for what she did? She made something new on the spot and it paid off. Really? That's amazing. I just, oh, I really want to meet her. She, that was just amazing. Now we get to the bottom looks, which if you guessed who are in the final, yes. We are gonna start with Ben and Evan are on the bottom. They got Goldsmith and they thought of a gold marionette ballerina doll and I I don't like it. I thought they could have done a better job, especially Goldsmith. They could have done a mining puppet or they could have like had a different way of making the ballerina actually made it pieces of gold, not just the full solid. It didn't look right. I didn't like this. The one part where it has her normal head showing and a lot of few things. It's just, it's, I think the worst makeup I have actually ever seen since the first season. That's saying something. And the second people on the bottom are Logan and Adam, where they had a stone cutter and they decided to do a golem type puppet that wanted to go out on the seas. I liked part of the face. I love its goofy smile. I could tell it was kind of like a golem puppet. The arms don't didn't look right and it just was okay. I actually would have liked that they refined their makeup a little bit. I know they were trying to go very silly for their challenge, which I'm okay with silly. It's an immunity challenge. You can go silly, but apparently the judges do not approve of silliness. This is a serious competition. I missed a bunch of makeups that could be serious, silly, horrifying, creepy, or fun. Overall, who won immunity this week and who won the challenge overall? If you guessed it was Emily and Tyler, congratulations, you are right. Woo! Oh, uh, this is also their second time they won immunity. Uh, every like the other week they won immunity. This is like their second time, so I'm excited. They, actually, one thing I have noted while watching this episode is the two strongest teams are Emily and Tyler and Sig and George. They're the two strongest teams and I actually hope they make it to the final. I don't even know how they're gonna do the finals since they're, they're doing teams, but we'll see as the episodes go down and I'll keep you guys informed of what they're exactly they're gonna do. Next week on Face Off, my recording stopped so I couldn't even figure out what it was and the website didn't even have the clips showing next week but the title, and what I can gather, is it's called Odd Couples. So we're probably gonna get makeups involving a couple, and I have a feeling I have to do something with fairy tales. Well, so that's all I got for you for this week, folks. So until next time, this has been the Face Off Season 11 All-Star Vlogs, and I will see you later.